Alright guys, today we are here to see how to reassemble a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now shortly the story is I had a Samsung Galaxy Note 2, brand new. It just fell off my pocket and broke down all the, the front glass and the LCD display. So I decided to sell this phone as used for spare parts and basically I bought a new one and the new one is this one this is actually perfect on the outside but uh, after just one day it just break down it's mm, impossible to turn it, turn it on and to uh, maybe flash the ROM, rebuild it so basically the motherboard is gone, completely gone. I don't know even how because it was everything was stock with the stock Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2. And but you know, I I just said um, I spent all that money. Then I should have at least one phone that works. So basically, from the the broken glass phone, I had um, the the motherboard was pretty much perfect with no problem at all for almost the, an entire year I had this phone so I decided to turn both phone apart and disassemble them completely and swap the motherboard so this is the bricked motherboard so I checked on the guy that is going to buy this phone he said he has his own motherboard so he doesn't need another one he just need the uh, the rest of the phone without the motherboard and the glass and the LCD so I decided to I turn them apart and I already put the the new motherboard on the new phone and I forgot actually to film it or to film the disassembly but you know on YouTube you can find a lot of videos that shows you how to completely uh, disassembly the phone so basically I'm gonna show you how to reassemble completely the Galaxy Note 2 without the screen glass part of course uh, basically we have the this is the the recharger part with the micro USB connector and let me focus on Okay, seems okay. So we have to put in the right slot the, the board, but be careful because there is the connector here. So here we have the board in place and we can lock, insert the actually this small connector here okay then it goes in so here we have the speaker unit and it's going to go on this side right here and we have just to screw it down to lock it so very carefully then it's done so here we have a lot of connector we have to be careful not to break them while we insert the motherboard so okay now put in place the back camera so this is just a motherboard uh, reassembly so every other device on the phone was left in place the motherboard screw and it goes in the first golden hole right here and it's just the only screw that locks down So after you screw in the 
the actual black screw you can start from a side to stick all the connectors back and be careful because they are uh, pretty tough to put in place but they actually are even delicate so they are not so strong and be very gentle while doing the job so you don't risk to broke them to break them okay done actually I don't like this kind of work because Samsung did not meant to lock the motherboard on one side of the phone but they just lock everything together the front part the back part this one and the motherboard all together in a solid block maybe it's cheaper right okay right now it's gone so after all just check that every connector is right in its place well here we have now the the one that should work properly and actually everything is just in place the screw all the connector just checking again that everything is in place and maybe without before turning closing uh, the device actually be careful not to touch maybe the motherboard when the battery is inside just you know you don't know if there if there can be something wrong so basically this is the the new phone the bricked the old bricked one with the new motherboard and we have to try if it does work right now after we connected everything so just hold the power on button seems that is going to work we can see yeah actually it's working it is yeah it detects that there are no sim card installed or anything else but basically it's fine so maybe no oh, there is a whatsapp error oh even the flashlight is working so everything is fine we can shut down the phone to reassemble it completely battery so like I said everything is in place so right now we are just about to do the job that we did before just put everything in place and you know like I said with the glass you can see actually if everything is going to fit exactly how it should fit so for this job take your time don't be rush just work properly and everything is going to go 
where it should go without any trouble and without breaking anything so the button here works the two buttons just work everything is working so now we just need to insert all the screws like before I'm gonna jump on this part because it's really boring and everyone knows how to install the screws so see you in a while so now after I screwed all the 11 screws back we can stick the SIM card back in the micro SD card and the battery and we can see if finally everything is working properly so the moment of the truth Yeah, seems that everything is working fine. So I forgot the S Pen. I'm gonna stick it back in. So actually, the pin. So basically, this is it. Seems to work fine. Let's see the camera. Connected to the Wi Fi, the camera is working properly. Everything is good. No. So, so well. Well, the job is actually done. I hope everything is fine. I hope this does help someone to achieve this kind of work. And maybe see you next time with some other tech video. Bye, thank you for watching.